Now let's see how Vishnu is described in our, in our Shastras hmm, as the greatest devotee of Parashakti and Paramashiva. Hmm? Let's take some stories. Hala Hala poison. Hmm? When the poison, when the Kalakuta poison came, everyone, hmm, they, no one could do anything. Indra, all the Devas and Asuras, uh, they were literally running here and there. And then all went to Brahma, Brahmaloka. And they saw that the entire Brahmaloka was also affected by the Hala Hala poison. And then they go to Vishnu or Vaikunta, Vaikunta Nata Vishnu. And then they see that even Vishnu had turned black and all the Vaikunta Vasis were suffering from that Hala Hala poison. And then Vishnu, uh, they, there is only one Gati for everybody. Hmm? That's why uh, Shivam Eka Padam Nityam Shikaraya Namo Namaha. Hmm? He is the only uh, protector. He is the ultimate protector. Mahadeva is the ultimate protector. And all the Devas including Indra, Brahma and Vishnu, they go and then they meditate on Mahadeva in their heart. And Vishnu along with the Devas say, Linga meva param jnanam, linga meva param tapaha, linga meva paro dharmo, linga meva paragatihi, rasma lingat parataram, yetcha kinchinna vidyate. He says in the Skanda Puranam, Maheshwara Kandam, Kedara. Within the Maheshwara Kandam, there are three Kandas. One is actually, the first one is Kedara Kandam. Within the 10th chapter, 62nd verse, he says this. Which means, linga meva param jnanam. Hmm? That knowledge of Linga, that is Adi Parashakti and Paramashiva combined together is the highest knowledge. Param Tapaha, hmm? the meditation on Parashakti and Paramashiva hmm? is actually the highest. Paro Dharmo, Linga Meva Paro Dharmo. Hmm? Because we saw Dharma means in general religion. Because everyone has one kind of... Uh, Dharma, right? Of uh, A father needs to take care of his family. A mother needs to take care of her kids. But the what is the highest Dharma? Worshipping Parashakti and Paramashiva is the highest Dharma. It's been told by our dear Vishnuji. And then, Lingameva Paragati. Hmm? Paragati also comes in the Lingashtakam and the Shadakshara Mantram. Lingameva Paragati. That is the highest goal. Hmm? Attaining Parashakti and Paramashiva is the highest goal. Tasmat Lingat Parataram Yachikinchinna Vidyate. There is nothing apart from Parashakti and Paramashiva has been told. And then Mahadeva appears and then he drinks the Hala Hala poison. He becomes Nila Kanta or Nila Griva, which is told in Rudram also. Nila Griva word comes six times in Rudram. Hmm? And this story is mentioned in four to five Puranas. We see how everyone had to seek the lotus feet of Mahadeva. Hmm? Even Vaikuntam was not spared by the Hala Hala poison. Vaikuntha Vasis and Vishnu was also not spared. Vishnu turned black because of that. It's uh, distilled in Brahmanda Puranam, chapter 25, Vayu Puranam, chapter 54, Skanda Purana, Maheshwara Kanda, within that the Kedara Kanda, chapter 9 and 10, and then Matsya Purana, chapter 250. It's been told in four places. And then moving on, in Vamana Puranam, there's a beautiful story. In the first canto, 36th chapter, they, the Devas, they wanted to have vision of Mahadeva and uh, along with Gauri Mata and uh, Skanda and Karthi, Skanda and uh, Pinayaka and also along with Nandi and they try to meditate for a long time and then nothing happens and then they all go to Vaikuntha and they all ask Vishnu mm. we wanted to have Darshan of Mahadeva but it's not happening and then Vishnu says you Devas have committed mm, great offense against Mahadeva mm? And that's why you're not able to have vision of Mahadeva. I will lead you in this. Uh, and then he says, he asked, he asked everyone to chant Shatarudriyam. Hmm? Yes, Shatarudriyam adite, so Agni Bhuto Bhavati. Uh, that Rudram, which is the essence of the entire Vedas, the Panchakshara Mantram, which is the center of the Vedas. Hmm? He asked them to chant Shatarudriyam. And he also chanted, Vishnu also chanted along with them. And then... Uh, they like it is, it is beautifully described in the Purana where they apply Kunkuma and uh, uh, the Basma, Chandan, offer ghee, milk, water and uh, honey, everything hmm, to the Linga. But still the Devas are not able to conceive Mahadeva and then they ask him. And then Vishnu says, huh, just look at my heart, he says. 
స్వకృత్ పంకజ సాయనం వామన పురాణం ఫస్ట్ క్యాంటో థర్టీ సిక్స్ చాప్టర్ ట్వంటీ థర్డ్ వర్స్ విచ్ ఇస్ కోటెడ్ బై అవర్ డియర్ నాగలింగ గారు స్వకృత్ పంకజ సాయనం దర్శయామాస దేవాన మురారి లింగమైశ్వరం జస్ట్ లుక్ అట్ మై హార్ట్ ఓ దేవాస్ అండ్ దెన్ హీ సేస్ దట్ దే లుక్ అట్ ద రెస్ప్లెంట్ అండ్ షైనింగ్ లింగ మహాదేవ అండ్ పరాశక్తి టుగెదర్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ద సైజ్ ఆఫ్ అ స్పాన్ ఇన్ ద హార్ట్ ఆఫ్ విష్ణు మురారి లింగమైశ్వరం ఐశ్వర వి సో ద డే ఐశ్వరం ద రూట్ వర్డ్ కమ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఈశ్వర అండ్ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ ద మెనీ పురాణాస్ వెన్ మహా వెన్ బ్రహ్మ అండ్ విష్ణు వేర్ ఇన్ అహంకారం దే వెర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు ఫైట్ విత్ ఈచ్ అదర్ ఆన్ సుప్రీమసి అండ్ మహాదేవ అప్యర్డ్ ఇన్ ద సైజ్ ఆఫ్ అ స్పాన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ద అంగుష్ట మాత్ర పురుషోంతరాత్మ సదా జనాం హృదయే సన్నివిష్ట ఈస్ ఇన్ ద సైజ్ ఆఫ్ అ తంబ్ సదా జనాం హృదయే సన్నివిష్ట he is eternally present in the heart and this story is told uh, first initially he appears in the size of a span in front of both of them and then he shows his divine supreme form and then brahma and vishnu search for the beginning and end of lord shiva that is brahma goes in search of the head and vishnu goes in search of the feet and both are not able to find and then they do stuti of mahadeva this is told in brahmanda puranam kurma puranam vayu puranam vamana puranam almost 14 out of the 18 puranas talk about this story and then moving on to kurma purana vyasa there is a conversation between vyasa and arjuna in the kurma purana first canto 29th chapter he says drishtavanasi tam devam vishvaksham vishvato mukam pratyaksham eva sarvesham rudram sarva jaganmayam jnanam tad aishwaram divyam yatavat viti yatavat viditam tvaya svayam eva krishikesha prithyo vacha sanatanah He says, Vyasa says to Arjuna, Oh, Arjuna, do you remember the Vishwarupam of Mahadeva that you saw? That Rudra Parameshwara's Vishwarupa you saw before the war. You know, do you remember that? And that knowledge was recounted to you by Hrishikesha. Vishnu comes as guru for Arjuna and then he preaches about Pashupati Tattva. That is... the bhagavad gita bhagavad gita is actually the words of lord shiva here it says vyasa says that vishwarupam that you saw is none other than mahadeva parameshwara samba shiva himself showed that vishwarupam to you and krishikesha came as guru krishikesha recounted to you vishnu recounted to you remember that that's what he asks it is present in the kurma puranam first canto 29th chapter 58 to 59th verse and then he goes on to say నార్జునేన న అర్జునేన సమహ శంభోర్భక్తా భూతో భవిష్యతి ముక్త సత్యవతి సూ సూనం సూనుం కృష్ణం వా దేవకీ సుతం ఇస్ ఎస్ దెర్ ఇస్ న దెర్ ఇస్ నన్ దట్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ శివ భక్తి ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ శివ భక్తి దెర్ ఇస్ నన్ ఈక్వల్ టు ద పర్సనాలిటీ ఇస్ లైక్ అర్జున వ్యాస అండ్ దేవకీ సుత దట్ ఇస్ కృష్ణ న అర్జునేన సమ శంభోర్భక్త bhakti to mahadeva no one can beat these three personalities in terms of their in their devotion to mahadeva and parashakti and then moving on kurma puranam second canto 11th chapter 131st verse he says that is the ishvara gita the end of ishvara gita where it says this same ishvara gita was passed on as uh, bhagavad gita by krishna to అర్జున ద దేవకీ సుత ద దేవకీ పుత్ర నారాయణ కృష్ణ పాస్ డౌన్ దిస్ ఈశ్వర గీత యాజ్ భగవద్ గీత టు అర్జున ఇట్ సేస్ అండ్ దెన్ ఆల్సో వీ హ్యావ్ ఇన్ ద అశ్వమేధ పర్వ పరం హీ బ్రహ్మ కథితం యోగయుక్తేన తన్మయ అశ్వమేధ పర్వ సిక్స్టీన్త్ చాప్టర్ థర్టీన్త్ వర్స్ అండ్ కృష్ణ వెన్ అర్జున రిక్వెస్ట్ కృష్ణ టు రిపీట్ భగవద్ గీత కృష్ణ సేస్ దట్ ఐ విల్ నాట్ బీ ఏబుల్ టు డూ దట్ బికాస్ i was united with mahadeva when i recited the entire bhagavad gita oh dear arjuna i cannot repeat that now that's why param hi brahma kaditam yoga yukte and i was in yoga oh oh arjuna param hi brahma with that para brahmam parama shiva hmm? and then moving on let's uh, see how vishnu is always with the sacred ashes there is a beautiful story in the padma puranam fifth canto that is the patala kanda 105th chapter and this is recited by dadichi maharshi this is also present in the brigad jabala upanishad so dadichi maharshi uh, all the sages ask dadichi maharshi uh, we want to know about the glory of applying the ashes 
on our body ah huh? we want to we want to know the glory of the sacred ash and then with dadichi maharshi recounts a story so vishnu was reclining in the milky ocean and then he wanted to create the entire universe but he was not able to do and then mahadeva knew this mahadeva is described as purva jaya cha para jaya cha he was present before everybody and mahadeva knew what is actually running in the heart of vishnu and uh, what vishnu is thinking and then he appeared in front of him and then vishnu is not able to recognize because he was in maya he was not able to recognize mahadeva he says namaste deva devesha namaste shashvata avyaya na jane habavam tambo stvam cha vetsi namo namaha oh ma oh salutations to you god of gods he experienced some kind of um uh, tejas in the personality that was standing in front of him that is mahadeva but he did not knew it was mahadeva so you seem to be eternal and immutable uh, and uh, 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 resplendent rays like uh, tejas is coming out of your body i do not know you but i think you definitely know me hmm? this is how he glorifies and then he glorifies the form of mahadeva very beautifully mahadeva appears in front of him vishnu describes the form hmm? divine form of mahadeva he describes the uh he starts off with the uh, feet of mahadeva and then he goes to the legs and then uh he describes the thighs and then the body and then the face he also describes the cheeks of mahadeva how cute the cheeks of mahadeva how cute the nose of mahadeva is and his lips are red in color vishnu describes the form of lord shiva and then he has he has beautiful three eyes and kandarpa koti kamadeva we know he is very beautiful right but if millions and millions of crores and crores of kamadeva has to come hmm? then that is actually the body of mahadeva hmm? mahadeva is described as sundareshwara there is no one that is more beautiful than him bikshatana hmm? sundara pati sundara mukha he describes the beautiful form of mahadeva this is how we have to meditate on mahadeva and then uh, he takes uh, uh, like uh, shiva initiates vishnu into the panchakshara mantra he himself applies the basma all over the body of vishnu and then he initiates in him into the panchakshara mantra and then asked him to meditate shiva and then shiva asked him to meditate ha huh? oh vishnu meditate in your heart and let me know what you see he says and then um uh, uh, he says vishnu says i see a lamp hmm? i see a lamp oh maha oh um uh, shiva and then uh, shiva says shiva replies to vishnu oh vishnu your knowledge is not complete it is incomplete so you have to do basma snanam and you have to eat the sacred ash padma purana patala kanda 105th chapter 223rd verse and brihat jabala upanishad 6th brahmana that is 6th canto 7th verse says tato basma bakshayeti harimah harastatah bakshayishye shivam basma snatpaham basmana pura vishnu replies to shiva i will do that i will do whatever i will eat the sacred ash basma baksha baksha means eat basma means the vibhuti and uh, there are five names like of vibhuti like vibhuti basma basita raksha and kshara so he eats the sacred ash and he does he does basma snana and then he meditates in the heart vishnu meditates in his heart and then he does and then he looks at a divine person shuddha spatika sankasham trinetram vibujam shivam varadam dakshino haste vame cha abaya abayatam vibum pancha varshiya vapusham sharat chandra yutadyutim this yes. that personality who vishnu was seeing in his heart was completely camphor white in color crystal white in color and then he had three eyes he had two hands vibujam shivam varadam dakshino haste he was giving the boons with his right hand and vamecha abayadam vibum hmm? he was showing his abaya mudra with his left hand and he is vibhu it describes padma purana describes mahadeva to be vibhu we are all anu from the blade of agra till vishnu everything is anu hmm? means uh, perishable vibhu means infinite we are all finite hmm? and then he became engrossed and then he described the beauty again that uh, that form of mahadeva he saw uh, in front of him he was seeing that same form same description of mahadeva in his heart completely very beautiful eyes and cheeks and nose and lips and then completely with the uh, he was completely with the necklaces various uh, he was wearing 
various uh, jewels and rings and emeralds and hmm? and then he was uh, showing blessing uh, vishnu and then uh, vishnu and then uh, vishnu replies to shiva and then shiva asks him what did you see in your heart and then vishnu say i saw a man of a gentle body and then vishnu recognizes oh that is that mahadeva who gave me the knowledge that mahadeva is the one that is residing in my heart and then he falls at the feet of mahadeva hariraah puradrishtah purushah shanta vigrahah ityudirya mahavishnu shivapade papatata he falls at the feet of mahadeva hmm? and then uh, he says vishnu says i cannot even understand the glories of the sacred ash how can i understand your glories o mahadeva hmm? and then shiva says what do you want vishnu hmm? and then vishnu says i don't want anything else apart from meditating on your lotus feet hmm? charanam boja just i want to meditate on your lotus feet that's all hmm? and we see many other examples there is one very very important learning in this guys hmm? in the story initially what shiva says when vishnu meditates on his art and then he sees a lamp he just looks at a lamp and then he says i just saw a lamp and then shiva says oh your knowledge is incomplete and that's why advaiti say okay fine uh, we have to meditate on the lamp and then completely we finally dissolve into it no there is jyoti of course the upanishads describe jyoti but jyoti is actually the uh, effulgence coming out of the body of mahadeva there is a personality who is behind that jyoti hiranmayena patrena satyasya vitam mukam tatvam pushan apavarnam satya dharmaya drishtaye ishavasya upanishad 15th verse brigadaranyaka also says fifth canto 15th verse what does it say hiranmayena patrena golden effulgence is coming out of that personality satyasya pikitam mukam i want to so i want to see the that face that personality who is behind that golden effulgence Hmm? that effulgence that is coming out of the body of mahadeva with that effulgence only indra brahma and vishnu are able to function hmm? there is a personality behind that and then uh, even if you see the and then next verse isha vasya upanishad 16th verse pushan ekarshe yama surya prajapatya vyuha rashmin samuha tejo yate roopam kalyana tamam it says roopam kalyana tamam describes the kalyana murti <laughs> kalyana sundara murti of mahadeva the kalyana gunangal the kalyana qualities uh, the qualities of mahadeva divine qualities of mahadeva that person is actually that effulgence is coming out of the body of lord shiva and then when he vishnu meditates for the second time and then he looks at mahadeva's divine form in his heart then his knowledge becomes complete mm? so that is the learning here and then we see there are many other references where vishnu dedicates himself completely to the uh to mahadeva and i'll be quoting some more references in the padma purana fifth canto 114 chapter 240 247 verse there is a beautiful uh, uh story here so where shiva actually all the devas would have assembled and mahadeva would have also come and then mahadeva would say uh, to the devas indra brahma and vishnu that uh, Oh, i am going to recite my sandhya vandanam i am going to do my sandhya vandanam i am going to recite some matter some prayers and then uh, i'll come back and then all the devas are confused even vishnu is confused because upanishads are searching for his lotus feet brahma and vishnu were searching for his lotus feet the whole vedas and upanishads describe about him even the vedas and upanishads cannot understand him so who is mahadeva meditating on <laughs> one question comes within the hearts within the uh the uh, hearts of the devas indra brahma and vishnu and then or uh, vishnu they take vishnu and then go and ask this question oh okay fine mahadeva everything is glorifying you only you are that paratpara purusha paraat parataro brahma tatparaat parato hari hi tatparaat parato isha stanme manashiva sankalpam astu ah uh, hiranmaya purusha you are that ultimate and who are you meditating on and then mahadeva replies i think we saw the story one in the shadakshara stotram we saw किंचिद्गोविंद नमस्े किंचन नोपस्े कंचन हरे न जिष्ये किंचन किंतु नास्ति कंजतूना प्रवृत्यर्थ मया ओ विष्णु एंड द देवास इंद्रा ब्रह्मा आई एम नॉट मेडिटेटिंग ऑन अपॉन एनी वन 
and i am not saluting anyone because mahadeva doesn't need to that's why tiruvachakam says idukalum serndariyakai your hands do not fold in front of anybody mahadeva everybody's hands only folds they, uh, they everybody has to fold their hands in front of you your hands do not fold in front of anybody so he says shiva says i am not saluting anybody i am not waiting upon anyone hmm? and i shall i am not even muttering any prayers i am not reciting any prayers but huh, there are a lot of atheists hmm, in this world in order to get them in order to get them into some kind of spiritual activity i am doing these things Hmm? That's what he says. So that's why if you see Ishanak Sarva Vidyanam, all the Vidya, uh, Bauddha, Jaina, Kaumara, Ganapatya, Vaishnava, Saura, Shakta, everything comes from Mahadeva only. Uh, but ultimately, these people who take up these uh, uh, paths, ultimately they will come. In course of time, they will come to Mahadeva because everyone cannot understand Mahadeva. Hmm? And that's why he says, in order to lead the unbelievers into activity, I am doing. I am acting as if I am muttering some prayers and I am acting as if I am saluting somebody. But in reality, I am not doing. I am not meditating on anybody. I am not saluting anybody because I am the supreme absolute truth. Mahadeva says this. And uh, here, another uh, beautiful, where Vishnu, we see the devotion of Vishnu to Lord Shiva. <coughs> uh, and um, in Padma Purana again, in the fifth uh, Patala Kanda, 114th chapter, 271st verse, where um, Para, Parashakti and Paramashiva, they were uh, they are actually together, and Parashakti is sitting in the lap of Paramashiva, hmm? and both are exchanging uh, uh, beautiful conversations. And to the left of Parashakti and Paramashiva is Vishnu serving them, and to the right is Brahma serving them. And Parashakti, she just makes. So, because if you see, it is just like a wife making fun of a husband. And uh, Parashakti says, Oh, Mahadeva, you seem to be very unique. All the other devas have two eyes. You seem to have three eyes. And then uh, uh, all the devas, they have scent. They have perfumes and scents applied all over their body. But you, ha you have the ashes, basma. You have basma all over your body. And everyone, they are with divine garments. They have beautiful garments. But for you, Gaja Charmam Bharadara, Vyagra Charmam Bharadara, you have the tiger skin and lion skin and elephant skin as your garments. Gaja Charmam Bharadara, Vyagra Charmam Bharadara, Drisamha Charmam Bharadara. Hmm? And everyone has a beautiful mala. Brahma has Ratna mala, Vishnu has Vaijayanti mala, Indra has Parijata mala. But you have the heads of Brahma, Vishnu and Indra as a mala. <laughs> Kapala Mala. Uh, and uh, and uh, you also seem to be a very mysterious personality because you said to my father when Himavan, my, my father asked you what is your Gotram and what is who is your mother and father, you said, Note Gotram. Vishwanara Maharshi says, Note Gotram. Naisha Janmapi. Because Mahadeva has no birth. I don't have any Gotram and I don't have any mother and father. So you seem to be Mahadeva. Parvati says to Mahadeva, you seem to be a very mysterious personality. And then Vishnu, after hearing these things, he is not able to withstand. This is again, this is just Mahadevi Parashakti. This is just actually, you see, uh, the lovers usually chit chat together. The wife makes the wife makes uh, fun, <coughs> wife makes fun of her husband, and the husband makes fun of her wife. This is this is like that. And we see the first lovers, first love marriages between Adi Parashakti and Paramashiva, the divine parents. But Vishnu, after hearing this, who was to the side of Shiva, is not able to withstand these words. Oh, mother, what have you spoken about Lord Shiva? Hmm? And I am not able to withstand. I am not able to uh, hear these words. Huh? The one who makes fun of the master of the universe uh, and one who hears bad about the master of the universe through his ears, he should leave his life right away. And then Vishnu is ready to Suicide. He is ready to even take off one of his swords. Actually, he is ready to. He he was ready to almost cut off his neck with the with his own sword. And this is there, guys. In the this is there in two Puranas. Very beautiful. We see the devotion of Vishnu. We see how Vishnu is completely dedicated to Parashakti and Paramashiva. And Padma Purana, fifth canto, one fourteen chapter, Narada Purana, Purva Bhaga, seventy ninth chapter. For whoever who want to read it. 
and then uh, he was about to cut off his uh, own uh, head and then shiva stopped him what are you doing vishnu whatever parvati says might not be dear to you but it is very dear to me do not commit this rash act i don't like this and then he stops him but we see how vishnu is dedicated he is not able to ready to hear any shiva ninda through his ears hmm? and the same is quoted in bhagavatam by sati mata in 4417 hmm? and then shiva purana rudra samhita section 1 chapter 10 verse 29 vishnu says to lord shiva oh lord let not the meditation of your form be ever far removed from my mind even for a moment even for a moment i should not forget you i should not your forget your divine panchamukha parameshwara form or sundareshwara form i should never forget you even for a moment mahadeva and then we have many many references there is one more beautiful reference which i'll be quoting from skanda purana um and uh, we see vishnu meditates on lord shiva for getting the sudarshana chakra and also in linga purana he does one crore koti rudra japakatvena he does crores and he does one crore rudra japa hmm? he chants the rudram one crore times ha huh? and then uh, uh, mahadeva appears in front of him and then he uh, he asks vishnu not to worry and then he will kill tripurasura and then even in the same padma purana we see krishna establishing the madhyameshwara linga if you go to kashi there is a madhyameshwara that is the center of kashi and then he gave no- the knowledge of shiva to all the sages by applying basma all over his body by having a shika he shaved his head by had and he had a shika and then he gave the knowledge of shiva to the sages it's there in padma purana and also in kurma purana and then this uh, very beautiful verse in skanda purana vishnu after because we see how parashakti and paramashiva together they create vishnu vishnu comes from the left limb of lord shiva brahma comes from the right limb of lord shiva and then rudra comes from the heart of mahadeva mahadeva is beyond the three gunas he is not affected by the gunas and then vishnu says to lord shiva in skanda purana kashi kanda first uh, uh, purva purvarda 26th chapter 58th to 60th verse he says yadi prasanno devesha devadeva maheshwara bhavanya sahitam tvantu drashtum ichami sarvada sarva karmasu sarvatra tvameva shashishekara puras charantam pashyami yata tanme varastata tvadiyak varanam bojam akarandam adutsuka macheto bramaro bhranti vihayastu sunishchalaha he says oh lord of the lords oh the greatest lord parameshwara mahadeva samba shiva if you are pleased i should be able to see you and bhavani mata bhavanya sahitam along with bhavani mata i have to eternally keep seeing you in all my activities that i perform all the activities that's why wherever you go if you see in uh, ka in kanchi kamakshi sameta kanchi ekambaranatha yanamaha dar varadara varadaraja is there uh, he is eternally meditating on kanchi kamakshi and uh, ekambaranatha in tiruvanai kaval akilandeshwari sameta jambukeshwaraya namaha there ranganatha is eternally meditating he is reclining on adishesha and eternally meditating on parashakti and paramashiva hmm? um apita kuchalambal sameta tiruvannamalai arunachaleshwaraya namaha there inside the temple of tiruvannamalai arunachaleshwara there is a krishna krishna is there huh? he is also present as a devotee and then ज्ञान प्रसुनाबिका समेता कालहस्तीश्वराय नम दैर ऑलसो विष्णु इज दैर एंड फाइनली वी सी शिव काम सुंदरी समेता चिदंबर नटराजा नम दैर वी सी लिटरली गोविंद राजा इज ईज आर कंप्लीटली ऑन द लोटस फुट ऑफ महादेवा ऑन द लेफ्ट फुट ऑफ महादेवा एटर्नली मेडिटेटिंग वेर एवर वी गो वी सी विष्णु इज ऑलसो दैर एज अ डिवोटी sarva karma su sarvatra whatever activities that i do oh mahadeva i should keep seeing you i should never ever forget you oh moon crested lord chandrashekar and finally he says this is very beautiful let my mind that resembles a black bee now why does he say why does he compare his mind to a black bee because uh, the mind keeps wandering here and there it thinks of your work it thinks of uh, uh the spouse it thinks of mother father friends relatives everything but ha huh, our mind doesn't have time to think of adi parashakti and paramashiva and that's why vishnu says let my mind that resembles a black bee cease to wander let it cease to wander hmm 
and be enthusiastic for the honey issuing from the lotus feet, lotus like feet of yours. Huh? I should be able to drink the honey that is issuing from your lotus feet. Oh, Mahadeva, Samba, Shiva, Vishnu says this. Huh? Brahmaro, Branti, Vihayastu, so Nishchalaha. 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 Chanchalaha. Our mind is Chanchalaha. Right? Huh? We have to become Nishchala. Extremely steady. Nishchala on the lotus feet of Mahadeva. Our mind should be steady on the thinking of the lotus feet of Adi Parashakti and Paramashiva. And this Rigvedam, 5th canto, 3rd Chapter 3rd verse is quoted by our dear Nagalinga Garu repeatedly in his works and he compares that. He gives an Upabrahmanam for that also. Tava shariye maruto marjayanta rudra yatte janima charu chitram padam yat vishnor upamam nidayi tena pasi guhyam nama gonam. Hmm? Oh Mahadeva, Samba, Shiva, Chandrasekhar, the Vedas describe charu chitram. Mahadeva is charu chitram. Charu means resplendent, completely effulgent. Golden effulgence coming out of Mahadeva. He hmm? is completely divine. And by the grace of that Paramashiva, Vishnu was able to attain Vaikuntha. And Vishnu became the Lord of Lakshmi. And uh, um, Nagalinga Garu, like, he has completely mastered the scriptures. We can just, uh, nowadays we have computer, everything, right? We can check all the things, Puranas are available online. But those days, there was no, internet was not available. And uh, we just see how he quotes the Upabrahmanams also from the Shastras for each and every Vedic hymn. Very beautiful. And he gives the Upabrahmanam from Prashara Upapurana. And by the way, Upabrahmanam, I think I had explained to you guys, whatever the Vedas say, there should be a supporting fact in the Puranas or uh, Smritis. You can understand the Shruti with the help of the Smriti only. Hmm? So, Parashara, that is Upabrahmanam. And Parashara Puranam, chapter 16. Dadati Sarva Jantunam Achira Deva Sattama Raudram Lingam Mahavishnur Bhaktya Shuddham Shilamayam Charu Chitram Samabhyarchya Labdavan Paramambadam Yacha Lakshmi Samakyata Mahavishnuscha Vallabha Yasya Lingam Samabhyarchya Sampujya Sarva Chetanaihi He says that Lakshmi was, uh, he says four things were, was, was acquired. Parashara says four things. Parashara is the father of Vyasa. He says four things were acquired by Vishnu, by the grace of Paramashiva. <coughs> Mahavishnu acquired Lakshmi as his wife hmm, by the grace of Lord Shiva. And then he acquired Aishwaryam. And then he acquired Vaikuntha, being in charge of Vaikuntha. Because Vaikuntha is a post. Vishnu is a post that can be acquired by Sadhana. Hmm? But true devotees of Lord Shiva are not interested. And then he acquired the post of Vaikuntha and he also got the Maya Shakti from Lord Shiva. So that's what Parashara describes. And this is the Upabrahmanam that Nagalinga Garu quotes for this verse in the Veda. So like that very beautiful references and going on, hmm? moving on to Mahabharata Mithihasam. It says in Drona Parvam chapter 172, hmm? uh, it says Vyasa Maharshi describes to Arjuna. Arjuna, we saw that in the previous class, like Arjuna is confused, totally confused. He was thinking that uh, that uh, his uh, arrows were hitting the dead bodies because there was one divine purusha who appeared in before uh, even before he tried to kill the uh, the soldiers and also all the other personalities like bhishma drona karna there was a divine purusha who came and smashed them off and then his it was he felt like his his arrow was hitting a dead body and then vyasa gives uh, knowledge sharanam gacha kaunteya uh, uh, Shankaram, uh, just go and surrender to that divine personality Shankara. He says that Shankara himself has favored you. Hmm? There is no one that is greater than Shankara. Just surrender unto him. That's what he says in Kurma Purana also. Hmm? That Mahadeva has come to favor you and Krishna. It was because of his grace that you and Krishna were able to win the war. And he says, he goes, quotes on that Narayana himself was meditating for 66,000 years. Mahabharata Drona Parva chapter 172. Shaktim Varsha Sakasrani Tavanti Eva Shatanicha. 66,000 years he was meditating on one leg. And then Parashakti and Paramashiva appear and completely Narayana was in tears. Hmm? He is seeing him. And then he falls at the feet of Mahadeva. And then uh, Mahadeva gives boons. And then he describes when Mahadeva appears, Drona Parvam says, Aniyasam, Aniyamsam, Brigadyascha, Brigadtaram. Where does it come? 
ृद्रम बृहते He is the you are the largest of the largest and brigad yascha brigad taram rudram ishanam rishabam chekitanam ajam param ajam you don't have birth ajayamano bahuda vijayate purusha suktam ajayamano hmm? he doesn't have birth and chandra maulinam he has a beautiful chandra vyagrajinam he has the tiger skin and then finally uh, vyasa says sa esha rudra bhaktascha keshava keshavo rudra sambhavah oh that oh arjuna listen to me that keshava or vishnu is described as the greatest devotee is a devotee of lord shiva and then he himself has originated from mahadeva his origin is from mahadeva keshava rudra sambhava we say kumara sambhavam the birth of kumara so keshava originated from mahadeva the keshava rudra sambhava has comes in the uh, drona parvam chapter 172 and then moving on to the anushasana parvam You see, Bhishma says when Yudhishthira requests Bhishma Charya, he says uh, when Bhishma is on the arrow bed, please talk about Mahadeva. Please let me know about Mahadeva. And then Bhishma says, I am incapable of describing Mahadeva. Hmm? Even the devatas like Indra, Brahma cannot understand Mahadeva. If there is someone, some personality hmm, that has understood Mahadeva to some extent, to some extent that is Vishnu. Shankar Chakra Kada Pana, huh? so that Narayana himself will explain you about Maheshwara. But even Vishnu cannot understand Mahadeva. When Narayana explains about uh, uh, Mahadeva to Yudhishthira, he says that uh, even I cannot understand completely. Even if I have to recount uh, the glories of Mahadeva, I cannot do that even in thousands and thousands of years. <laughs> so you see, like uh, and then Rudra Bhaktiya. Bhishma says, "Rudra bhaktiya to Krishna na jagat yaptam mahatmana by the bhakti that he delivered Vishnu, uh, by the bhakti that he delivered to Parashakti and Paramashiva, he is able to pervade this universe. Hmm? So he has so much amount of Shiva bhakti. And then uh, in Hari Vamsha Puranam, uh, second canto, seventy fourth chapter, says, 'Bhaktam bhakta naam, bhatsalam bhatsala naam.' Krishna says, 'Bhaktam bhakta naam.'" I am the devotee of your devotees, O oh Mahadeva. He says, doesn't say I am the I am your devotee. It's very important that we have to glorify the devotees of Lord Shiva. We see that in the uh, in the story of Viral Mandan Ayanar, right? So he says, Krishna says, Bhaktam Bhakta Nam. I am the devotee of your devotees. Hmm? I am the affectionate of your affectionate. Hmm? And then uh, he also says in the second canto, seventy fourth chapter, thirty fourth verse, "Aham Brahma kapilo yokya nantak putra ha sarve Brahmanascha tivira ha patta ha sarve deva deva prasuta evam sarve shaha karanatma vamidya ha." He says, "Aham Brahma, everything, myself, Brahma, Ananta Sesha, and all the sages, all the sons of Brahma, everything." originate from you only all are created by you only o mahadeva that parashakti is the divine mother and you are the divine father hmm? and he says and then in uh, we have many many examples like in brahma vaivarta purana he says mahadeva mahadeva mahadeveti vadinah hmm? the one who recites the name of mahadeva all his misfortunes vanish and then he goes back to mahadeva eternally and then the one who breathes the name of mahadeva is relieved of all the sins and of, uh, there is another place in the krishna janma kandam 75th chapter is also quoted by uh, nagalinga garu atmave shankar sthanam shivah pranadi kaschatya he says there is nothing that is superior to mahadeva for me hmm? the brahmanas are dear to me lakshmi is dear to me but beyond there is one personality whom i Uh, who is my paramatma who is my antaratma whom i love the most and that is paramashiva he is my antaratma hmm? there is nothing that is greater than him atma cha shankaras my paramatma is mahadeva he says that in brahma vaivarta purana hmm? krishna janma kandam 75th chapter and we saw 
and uh, also in uh, the sauptika parvam of mahabharatam where actually ashwatthama he goes and grieves to mahadeva mm, mahadeva i tried to actually win over krishna and arjuna why i was not able to win them mm? what is the reason what is the reason actually and then he says our mahadeva says uh, with ma krishna is completely dedicated to me he has given my he has given his mind thought word deed and actions to me with truth purity sincerity resignation ascetic austerities vows forgiveness devotion everything mm, by all these deeds he is completely dedicated to me Mm, krishna is completely dedicated to me so for this there is none that is dear to me than krishna so that's why i favored him he says to uh, shiva says that to ashwatthama and there is a beautiful stuti ashwatthama does in uh, the sauptika parvam of mahabharata